Would you like to see the data center of the future? Well, it's right here behind me in this rather nondescript building in the Las Vegas desert. The facility on the other side of this 10-foot blast wall is called a SuperNAP, and it's being built by a remarkably innovative young company called Switch Communications. Switch owns six co-location facilities in Las Vegas, but the SuperNAP, or Network Access Point, is by far the largest. It's the world's highest density data center ever built. It's in the 10 largest single standing facilities in the world. It's got over 100 MVA worth of power delivered to it, 150 MVA worth of power generation sitting on it, designed with the system plus system, critical power distribution infrastructure. The entire building is cut up into six data center zones, each about 47,000 square feet. It's just massive. I mean, 407,000 square foot of anything is big. Uh, I mean, when you put that in perspective, you're looking at 10 football fields under one roof. Most customers call because they've heard rumors of these mythical data centers in Las Vegas that can magically do 1,500 watts per square foot, when most of the data centers that they're in can only do 150 watts a square foot, which is pretty much the de facto standard out there. Really, our biggest problem right now is we can't get the buildings built fast enough to accommodate the demand. And it's no easy task to build a data center designed to handle the power and cooling requirements of 7,000 high-density racks. That's why the crew at Switch turned to Dennis Streeter for help. By having a single point of contact, Contact through Dennis, he's able to get us best of breed, best product in one stop location through Schneider. It's been an excellent relationship as far as response time, cost savings, and the total cost of ownership is a win win situation for everybody. They're on a short time frame of deployment and need to really get a robust solution in their door as quick as possible. As a manufacturer's representative for APC by Schneider Electric, Dennis was able to provide much more than just the top-of-the-line APC racks which knew they wanted. In a data center of, of this size, there are many different types of brands and vendors and many disparate systems that need to come together to function as a whole solution. Uh, APC is, of course, one of the big ones with the power systems. The APC megawatt is the standard of design for the UPS power backup system. Square D, of course, being another one. All of the distribution switch gear from the medium voltage, the input and output gear, right on down through every breaker that provides power into the rack. Uh, all the boxes and everything that the outlets are plugged into, all of those are from a Schneider company. Other systems include Pelco for security, TAC for building management. So quite literally every corner of the building has some part of Schneider in it. Brand recognition is of course always important. I like to tell our customers that we're an APC shop because they're of course very reassured by that. They all, they all know who APC is and that they make products that you can count on. Of course, what Switch's customers notice first are not the brand names of the technology, but the brawn of the security. With so much invested in this facility, Switch takes physical security seriously. Very seriously. Thank you. So, the SuperNAP's front lobby is called a man trap because nobody gets in or out without the permission of the armed military trained security force. Thank you. There are some government groups here that do really top secret stuff. So we have white noise injectors, steel lined walls, radio frequency shielding, retinal scans, you know, the whole nine yards, very mission impossible, all sealed up and the government's forte is not building data centers, so they come to us. And more clients come every week from healthcare and gaming companies to banks and online retailers. Some require only a single cabinet, while others require as many as 400. Any business market across the globe uh, that doesn't ever want to be off can find a home at Switch. We do 100% uptime guarantees in our contract, and that's why people come here, because this is all mission critical stuff. How is Switch able to guarantee 100% uptime? By anticipating failure. Everything will fail at one time, one point, and you have, to, you have to put in and implement the redundancy, so when that bad day shows up, you're going to be okay. Switch deploys what's known as a tri-redundant a system for their power system delivery and to make it easy for the customers to understand they've color coded those into red, blue and gray each representing a different leg of power available. That way they're guaranteed that one of those sources is up at all times. And the amount of power that will be required to run and cool a 407,000 square foot data center is staggering. Let me put this in perspective. These are just five of the 50 massive generators that will keep this facility running in the event of a power outage. Altogether, these generators can provide 100 million watts of power. That's enough to power your home 
and 10,000 more just like it. Because the electric bill is the single biggest operating expense for co-location facilities like this one, identifying energy efficient technologies was crucial for SWITCH. By year 2011, 50% of the power consumption will be from data centers. The type of gear that we can put in one SuperNAP is equivalent to 50 or 60 medium to low density data centers. We're really pushing the envelope of green technology by being able to put all that equipment in one facility that runs you know, critical power to a critical cooling. Making the most of your energy is really just a, a standard operating procedure if you're running a data center. One of the ways that Schneider really helped bring that to bear in the center was they utilized our Symmetra Megawatt technology. Uh, the UPS that they're running here will be over 95% efficient at half load. That's something that no one else in the industry can say. When you're talking about a $50 million electric bill, a few percent is significant dollars, several million a year in savings. And those same products that are allowing Switch to go green are also allowing Switch to grow out in a modular, scalable way. And that saves money as well. One of the key failures of the co-location systems in the dot-bomb era was that they went and spent all this money to build the entire facility out day one, thinking, well, the customers will come. Well, to prevent that and also to shield themselves against technology changing a year into deployment, they build it out modularly as the customers need it. And that gives them flexibility with respect to how much cooling capacity they add as well, which is critical when you're dealing with ever-increasing and unpredictably dense heat loads. So a natural tendency of a customer when they purchase a cabinet is to cram as much in there as possible. One of the unintended consequences of that is you need to design all new mechanical systems to handle this higher density heat load. And this is the sound of a super high density data center at work. What you're hearing in this room is the noise created by more than a thousand racks jam-packed with servers combined with the roar of the air being injected in here to keep them cool. If you walk into the room, you're in a basin of cool. The air gets pulled over by the fan units in the server racks, gets distributed through a hot aisle containment system and pulled back to a central location where it gets cooled down and recycled and pushed back out on the data center floor. And to maximize the amount of rentable rack space, Switch placed its air conditioners outside the building. In fact, if you, if you look down the side from an aerial view, the whole thing looks sort of like a distribution facility with a lot of semi-trucks backed up to it. Those are the custom air handlers that are designed to plug right into the side of the building so they can modularly expand it as their clients' needs within the data center grow. But waiting to build until the demand presents itself means that Switch has to stay agile and be prepared to move quickly. And that makes standardization that much more important. Standardization is imperative to have if you're going to be successful in the data center industry. By having a product that's baked thoroughly, we're able to deploy a data center anywhere in the world within 18 months. I get a chance to see quite a few larger data centers in the, in the data center landscape, and I've seen some co-locators that are doing some fairly big facilities, but nobody's tackling something on the standardized level that switch communication is. Uh, their key is they need to be able to replicate this model at will, wherever they may be globally. Uh, so they've spent more time on the upfront engineering to be able to export this design and the methodologies quickly and easily, no matter where they may land. A lot of our customers that, that we currently have have already pre-purchased space in the SuperNAP because they already know that they can't do the kind of deployments they want to do anywhere else and they want it to be first in the door. On the spot where I'm standing now, Switch will soon be breaking ground on a second SuperNAP just as big and just as spectacular as this one. And at this very moment, the Switch team is working to identify strategic locations for the deployment of seven additional SuperNAPs around the world. How will they do it? by relying on the same best-of-breed technology and scalable modular designs that make this data center of the future possible today.